Shalom. Welcome to my channel, The Hebrew Bible. This is Moses Gumadi, and uh, today we'll talk about Hishavanot, devices and inventions in the Bible, in particular, one verse in the Bible. That's in Second Chronicles chapter 26, verse 15. And we're going to look at one particular root and a whole range of words associated with it. Okay? Here we read, I will read it in English. And he made, that is, he is Uzziahu or Uzziah, also known as Manasseh. He made in Jerusalem engines. It says the King James Bible says engines. Invented by cunning men to be on the towers and upon the bulwarks to shoot arrows and great stones withal. And his name spread abroad. Right, so he made engines. Birushalavayas Birushalain Hishavonot Makshevet Hoshev. So that's the sentence. Hishavonot Makhashevet Hoshev. Engines invented by cunning men. That's the translation. It's not quite accurate, but we'll we'll come to that. It's close, it's close. The word engine. Uh, means generally a steam engine, a diesel engine, etc., a motor or something. Of course, uh, James Watt, uh, Watt, uh, he invented the engine. Uh, but engine generally means any contraption. That's the old meaning when the King James Bible was translated. So any contraption, okay? So let's look at this root here. Hishavonot has this root, het shin bet. Similarly, Mahashevet, Het, Shin, Bet, Choshev also is the same root. You can see the root very clearly and the whole sentence. In fact, if you go back, these three words here in this sentence is what we are actually looking at. So, what is this root? Het, Shin, Bet, Chashav means to think, to count or to calculate or to devise. So that's the root from which all these things, all these three words are uh, coming and uh, they're all related. I mean, why, why did he use three different words for the same thing? Let's come to that. Okay, Hishevonot Machshevet Choshev. Let's look at the first word Hishevonot. Hishevonot means devices or contraptions. For example, an apple cutter is a nice device, little device, which, uh, you know, cuts off the apple into four or six pieces and takes away the core. You know, these are all little inventions we've got in the kitchen, in the house, and pliers, and all those things we have in the modern world. They're all inventions made by clever people. Those are the devices and contraptions. Hishavonot. Okay, here we have this word occurring elsewhere in the book of Ecclesiastes or Kohelet in 729. Levad reze matsati asher hishbonot. So hishbonot, slightly different. Hishevonot, this is, okay, because there is a dagesh in the shin and uh, uh, therefore you say hishe, slightly you pronounce the shwa, hishevonot, whereas this is hishevonot, well, this is also hishevonot, in fact, I pronounced it hishevonot, hishevonot, it's the same thing. And what does it mean? It means inventions. Here, we well, load this, on this only I have found that God has made man upright, Yashar, but they have sought out many inventions. That is, they have figured out many schemes of doing things which are not according to uh, God's uh, will. Let's say that way. So does it mean all these inventions are evil? Not quite. Hishavonot it simply means inventions. It could be bad inventions, good inven inventions. The singular Hishavonot is a plural and the singular would be Hishavon, Hishavon, okay? It means a device. It could be a physical device with a lot of things that work 
one because of the other and therefore you know it's like a contraption or it could be a plan or an invention or a strategy all of these are hishvon or heshvonot hishvonot okay let's look at another word very close if you see this uh, singular word hishvon hishavon actually hishavon because of the kamats here hishavon but slightly pointed differently would be a city uh, called Heshbon. Heshbon. We see in the book of Deuteronomy, Sihon, the king of Heshbon. Velo ava Sihon melech Heshbon. So the Sihon, the king of Heshbon, and Og, the king of Bashan, were the big guys who were difficult to fight, but God helped them, the Israelites, to fight, and they killed them, those two kings. And this Heshbon was a big city, very famous city. It was destroyed. But what does Heshbon mean? Heshbon means reasoning or understanding according to Gizinius, uh, the grammarian. Um, and you could actually probably translate it also as like a mechanism or a contraption. Why is this name relevant to this city? Because this city works in a certain way. For example, the city of London, so-called. Uh, in London itself, there is a square mile and they call the city of London. Every city functions in a certain way. They'll have a strategy. How do we generate money? How do we bring in people? How do we bring in goods and how do we ship out goods? So there is a strategy, there is a plan for the welfare, not only welfare, but for the prosperity of the city. Uh, and there will be different contraptions in the city, both informational contraptions. London as a city was very famous, uh, still is famous uh, for um, uh, for insurance, different kinds of insurances. They are all informational contraptions, I would say. And uh, of course, uh, cities like Manchester and Glasgow, uh, they used to build ships, which are basically uh, mecha bigger mechanical or physical contraptions. So this Heshbon as a city actually worked like a contraption, uh, bringing in economic benefit perhaps for the sing king of uh, Heshbon, Sihon was the king. So coming back to our phrase, Hishevonot Machshevet Choshev. Engines invented by cunning men. Still, that's the English translation. I'll give you the final translation when we are done with the video. Okay. Next word we're looking at is Machshavet, the second one. Okay, because we've already seen Hishavonot. Machshavet means what? Machshavet is the et ending is called as a construct, means an off is to be added at the end. Okay, it's a noun, but uh, off is to be added at the end. It means imaginations of, or inventions of, or schemes of, contraptions of, etc. So this is another alternative word. Choshev, uh, chashav is to invent, to count, and all that. We saw the verb. From that verb, they built up a noun using uh, a letter mem at the front. Makshevet means imaginations of or inventions of, etc. Makshavot is also there. Vot is a plural. Suppose now this is et is a construct form, but if you take a plain form, we have makshavot, plural, and makshava would be singular. Makshava, singular, and makshavot is plural. Okay? Now here we have a couple of examples of this word Mahashavot. Mahashavot Sadikim Mishpat. So what is the translation? The thoughts of the righteous are right. Oh, Sadikim of the righteous are just. Actually, Mishpat or justice or just just. So the thoughts, what thoughts is not just the thoughts of the mind. And not a, just a thought, not a single thought, but a series of well thought out, well crafted ideas, one following the other in order to achieve an outcome. That's, that's what it is. That's the makshavot, which is a plan or a scheme, a set of thoughts uh, arranged into an idea, an action plan, a strategy, 
Let us put it that way. The thoughts of the righteous are right, but the counsels of the wicked are deceit. Same word occurs uh, down the line, uh, sorry, in the next, in, in another chapter, in 15, chapter 15, verse 22. Hafer makshavot be'ein sod. Without sod, sod means actually secret. But this secret also refers to the secret counsel of a king or a ruler, where king uh, secretly counsels, uh, he like takes opinion from a group of people uh, who have trust with the king in the secret. He will sit in his chamber with the secret guys, with, 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 the, with, the, with the wise guys and ask them and counter questions and all that stuff. In order to make a decision, he will get their opinions and uh, ask them their, their wise counsel. Right? So, so that's what we read. Uvrov Yoatzim. Yoetz is a counselor. Yoetz is a counselor. Yoatzim or counselors are plural. And when the when the multitude of counsel counselors, Uvrov, Rob means rub, means great, or many counselors, there is, they are established. That is Takum that is established. So, Purposes, this is the word, Mahashavot, Mahashavot are purposes, uh, will be disappointed without a sword, without a secret a counsel, without the advice of the advisors. Okay. So that's so that's just in a positive sense still. It's not it's not negative. But down the line, four verses we read Toavat Adonai Mahashavot Ra means wicked inventions. Toavat means uh, Abomination, abomination to the Lord, to Hashem, are the makshavot ra, wicked inventions, wicked schemes, wicked plans, wicked contraptions uh, that are thought out or devised um, or planned or put together are an abomination to yod heh to the to Hashem. But the words of the pure are pleasant words. So since he brings the words for imre noam, pleasant are sweet words, um, imre the words. So you could scheme, you could cre you could come up with a makshavot or makshava um, with words. That means a set of words, a set of sentences designed to communicate and bring about a change. Uh, well, in the people or in the hearts of the enemy, or you're basically sending a message to get an outcome. So that, that could be a makshava, a makshavot. So an in, it's an invention, inven an informational contraption. Hishavonot makshavet choshev. So let's come to the final word choshev. What does it choshev mean? It means... It is a verb, Hoshev is actually a verb here. It's a participle verb. And therefore you add ing, ing, right? So counting, calculating, reckoning, etc. That's the meaning of this word Hoshev. So if you look at the occurrences we have here in Leviticus chapter 25, Vaikra, verse 27, Vehishav et shene mimkaru veheshiv et ha ordef. So he's saying that uh, let, let him count the years, right? So uh, the years that shene mimkaru. So count the years. Let him count the years. So hishav. Hishav is uh, hishacha. Not like ha as in very harsh ha, which is. Uh, no, it's not. It's not there in this in, the, in this um, in this sentence. But uh, yeah, that's that's why what I do usually is I put this H with a dot underneath rather than KH uh, because it's a bit a softer sound than KH. Okay, so it means count. And so why count? Because if you look at the engines they built to cast the stones and big stones against the enemies from the towers and from the bulwarks, right? So you have to throw the stones. So at what speed do you have to throw it? At what angle will you throw it? 
from what height would you throw it and if depending on these three parameters you would know where it is going to fall and how far is it going to go because there is a calculation okay anybody who studies physics uh, in the high school would know this so there is a calculation for that similarly this calculation uh Hoshev, right counting calcul calculation happens it, it, it is relevant in the in the game of chess for example, you make this move and then the op opponent will think of a couple of options or they, they, they made the other move and then you have a fork as in, oh, should I do this or do that? If they do this, then what? Oh, then this or that may happen or this may happen, that may happen. This thing branches off and then they calculate uh, to come to a decision which is the best option to go ahead in order to win, which is also a calculation in the chess in strategy you also calculate for example there's a budget now so there is a uh, different uh, different buckets of uh, expenses etc so you have a strategy of where am i going to put what similarly in businesses they have a strategy the strategic planning uh, this is all a sort of calculation uh, and scheming and putting together contraptions of information in order to achieve an outcome and so essentially, whether it is a physical device as they have made, as Manasse has made, or is it an informational device, whatever it is, it's a, it, it is used in different ways. Hishevonot, Hishevonot Mahashevet Hoshev means contraptions, inventions of calculation or calculating, because calculating as in the, it, it is a, uh, participles, so I put it in calculating, so inventions of calculation, contraptions or inventions of calculation. Any contraption needs a bit of a thought uh, and accounting like reckoning, calculating one step at a time in order to achieve the outcome, what uh, the outcome that you would like to have. All right, so that's about it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please do like and subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon. Also do comment below and I will see you again with another video as soon as I can. Thank you very much.